welcome to the 50th annual Grand Lights Parade. How is everyone doing out there? Make some noise. Make some noise because it's freezing out. How you guys doing out there? My name is Nick Giuliano. I host the afternoon show on Q105. I'm here with the lovely Carly from the Midday Show. Carly, you look very nice tonight. Thank you. I'm very festive with my Santa Claus hat. Thanks so much for coming out. We're going to have a lot of fun as we welcome the Grand Town Police Color Guard first up on the night. The, Grand, the town of Grand Police Color Guard under the command of a lieutenant is comprised of members of many of the department's divisions. The unit is tasked the honor of presenting our national colors at various events to, that include parades, dedications, departmental promotional, and swearing-in ceremonies in services of fallen officers. As representatives of the department and our honored calling, they each fulfill our, their charge that the least they can do is the best they can do. The Grand Town Police Color Guard makes some noise. We'll be introducing our judges, judging tonight in just a little bit as well. And Carly, we did the 4th of July parade here. A little different. It's a little bit colder than it just was a the 4th bit. of July. We have a, a, a couple more layers of clothes on today. Coming up now is the Robert E. Fitch Senior High School Marching Band and Guard. Give it up for them. On the 4th of July, the Fitch Falcon Marching Band represented the state of Connecticut in the National Independence Day Parade in Washington, D.C. Wow. That is amazing. Give it up for the Robert E. Fitch Senior High School Marching Band and Guard! Grand Business Association. Marchers from Grand Business Association, sponsors of this parade and of Grand's annual fall festival. Greetings to Chairman Susan Bailey. How you doing, Sue? We got some festive hats as well. And here's the Salvation Army Canteen. Canteen One is a 1998 groom and service van that's staffed by volunteers from the Salvation Army in New London. They respond to large fires, emergencies, accidents, and disasters in the New London County area, providing food, hydration, basic comfort items, spiritual and emotional support to the emergency workers as well as the victims. The vehicle contains a mobile kitchen and is supported solely by donations from the community. Give it up for them! All right, Carly, as we have a uh, little pause here, let's introduce the judges making the very important decisions on tonight's parade. First, we have Lorraine Sanborn. She's with Sanborn Consultants. Life insurance you don't have to die to use. Great slogan. <laughs> and then there's Susan Giorno with Giorno Investigation Agency, discovering the information you deserve to know. Sharon Callender is with The Lighthouse, where their mission is to educate and prepare for life. Thank you very much, ladies. Have fun tonight. And just to let you know, because I'm a gentleman, I, I put the space heater facing them so they can keep warm tonight. And Carly, then we took their hot chocolate. We did take their hot chocolate, though, yes. And also, just a reminder, our Q105 Street team will be closing out the parade tonight with a very special guest. So do not go anywhere. Maybe. <laughs> All right, up next we have the Old Mystic Fire Department. Tower Ladder G65 along with the Dive Truck, Dive 6. The members of 
OMFD will be along the parade route collecting new unwrapped toys for the Town of Groton Human Services Department and the Pawkatuck Neighborhood Center. Always a great time. Old Mystic Fire Department, thank you guys. With the Grinch. I was waiting for the Grinch to make an appearance, and there he is. All right, Carly, looks like we're going to have another performance. Who do we got? The Nutmeg Volunteer Junior Ancient Alumni. It's the Nutmeg Fife and Drum Corps wishing everyone a happy holidays. Give it up for the Nutmeg Fife and Drum Corps. Up next, we have the Naval Submarine School Silver Dolphins Honor Guard. With the U.S. Navy, the Navy Security Patrol boat riding on it, it's the Naval Submarine Base uh, Command Master Chief Jay Gladu. Truck is being driven by MAC Christopher Gregg. 27-foot Metal Shark Harbor Security Boat towed by the 2013 Chevy 3500. Happy holidays, guys. Coming up right behind them, the Chelsea Groton Bank wishing a happy holiday season. Chelsea Groton Bank. Which is what we're in front of, right? It is what we're in front of. That's correct. Nice. Give it up for the Chelsea Groton Bank. Right behind them is American Legion Post 114, Groton, chartered in 1931. Meetings are on the first Saturday at 9 in the morning, which is early on a Saturday. Please come join us as we continue to serve the community, state, and nation, and more importantly, our fellow veterans. American Legion Post 114, Groton. Happy holidays, guys. The Groton Ambulance Association serving Groton since 1954. With them, the City of Groton Police Department. Give a warm welcome to the City of Groton Police Department Honor Guard and their special guests, Rudolph and Frosty. And the City of Groton Mayor, Deputy Mayor, Counselors, and City Clerk. And then followed behind them, the City of Groton Fire Department. So, Carly, obviously these people know they can hear us on the radio every single day. Q105, which is 105.5 FM. I'm on from 2 to 6, and you're on from 10 to 2, correct? Correct. And then we have Kid Craddock in the morning and Ralphie as well. But the cool thing about this parade is that we're also on television, and this is going to be played a lot. So while you're here, you can relive this a lot on TV and online, right? That's right. It's Groton Municipal Television. It's Channel 2 on Metrocast and Comcast. And unlike every other radio station here, we actually don't have faces for radio, so this is good that we're on TV. I don't know what to say to that. That was a compliment. <laughs> I was giving you a compliment. Oh. We don't have faces for radio. I thought you said we did have faces for radio. Well, I was going to say, Do that's we? not very nice. I'm not sure. 
Up next is Grind Utilities. Speaking of, light the way with Thames Valley Communications. Take advantage of the fastest internet, best cable TV, and reliable phone. Grind Utilities. Behind them, the Girl Scouts of America, the Groton Service Unit. Representing girls in grades kindergarten through 12, Grot and Girl Scouts are part of the largest girl organization in the United States. Girl Scouts build girls of courage, confidence, and character who make the world a better place. The 3.2 million girls registered in Scouts today join the 59 million adult women who have been in Girl Scouts in the last 102 years. Girl Scouts of America, Grot and Service Unit. So this is by far the biggest group, so I want to hear you guys scream. How you doing out there? All right. All right, Girl Scouts. The Girl Scouts, they're loud, okay. They're peppy. All right, we're going to keep the performances going now with Grosso Tech High School Band. Members of the band present holiday music selections under the direction of Melanie Wade. Let's listen in for the Grosso Tech High School Band. They performed at Valley Forge Colonial Williamsburg, Virginia, Yorktown Visitor Center in Yorktown, Virginia, and Switzerland, and also in Disney World. Wow. Cub Scout Pack 41. I don't know, Carly. I think the Girl Scouts may have been louder. Girl Scouts were a little bit louder, guys. Hey, Boy Scouts, how are you guys doing out there? All right, all right. All right, you win. All right, after the Cub Scout Pack 41, we've got Boy Scout Troop 13. Yeah. Carly, what did you just get there? Bunny Rabbit. Wait, does he know that we're not the judges? He should have given it I to know. Them? That's nice. No, judges? I, no stuffed animal for me, unbelievable. Do you want to share it? Yes. <laughs> and then what do we got next, Carly? Sea Scout Ship Dragon, Ship 584. The Sea Scouts are part of the Boy Scouts of America co-ed program, offering opportunities for young men and women between the ages of 14 and 21. Sea Scout Ship Dragon, Ship 584. Merry Christmas as well. Project Oceanology coming up now. Giving out something. What are you guys giving away? Nice float. Candy? Oh, there's people on that float. Hello. Project Oceanology. Giving away candy. It's a marine science education center located at Avery Point, serving children of all ages throughout the Northeast. Get out on the water this winter with Project Oceanology to see seals and eagles in their natural environment. Project Oceanology. By the way, if you guys are on social media, you can find us on Facebook. Just type in Q105FM. You can follow me on Twitter, at Nick G Radio Show. And Carly is now tweeting. I am tweeting. It's a miracle. At Carly Q Radio. You, you have to, yeah, you're getting better. Tweeting is a strange concept for me. It's strange, but it's necessary. People want to know. They want to know about this uh, blue bunny that's sitting on your we're, lap right now. We're going to take a picture of this adorable blue bunny rabbit. Yeah, they, they want to, to see a Twitter picture. All right, who do we have next? Coming up here, the Relay for Life of New London County Shoreline. The Relay for Life of New London County Seashore is a 24-hour fundraiser for the American Cancer Society. They honor their survivors and caregivers and remember their loved ones who have lost their fight. This year, we want to finish the fight against cancer. You can help by forming a team, raising money, and attending the Relay for Life event on June 28th. It'll be at the Connecticut... Page turn. 
Connecticut College. Their website is www.relayforlife.org slash NLSCT. Join us and help make our world with one with more birthdays. Hope you guys are having fun so far. The 15th annual Groton Lights Parade. Up next, we have Yukon Avery Point, offering a variety of academic programs to a diverse school population. They offer four-year degree programs. Yukon Avery Point. They're excited. Coming up here is the Colchester Continental Fife and Drum Corps. The Colchester Continental is celebrating 10 years of reorganization this next year. The Corps formed in the late 1800s, dis disbanded around the time of the Second World War, and was reformed in 2004 into the group you see today. The uniforms, consisting of military overalls, dull green waistcoats, and haversacks, represent clothing of the late 18th century. Colchester Continental Fife and Drum Corps. I let Carly do that when she's much more fashionable than I am. I do wear those green waistcoats and haversacks. They look warm though. Chester Continental Fife and Drum Corps, we have the Wacky Whaler Clown. Groton Regency Center up next. They beat us to the announcement. But that's them. Happy holidays from the Groton Regency Center. to you as well. Way to score points. Up next we have the Lighthouse, <laughs> a long time grand business that supports children and adults with disabilities. Also features an art gallery at 744 Long Hill Road. Stop by to see the works of 20 local craftsmen and make purchases for the holidays. Buy local for this holiday season, the Lighthouse. And this is a 1954 Ward fire engine, a 1954 Ward LaFrance fire engine owned by William Clark III of Colchester. All right, following the 1954 Ward fire engine is Full Power Radio, locally owned and operated radio station. They have the following stations, Soft Rock 106.5, Jammin 107.7, and U.S. Country 99.5. Full power radio. Coming up now, the No Ink Volunteer Fire Company, number one with engine 42. <laughs> Yeah, Carly, as it's the lights parade, this is a very nicely decorated fire truck. It is. It has the no ink sign in the front. That's what it was. That's what it is. No inker. Get it? No ink. Oh, yeah, I got it. Again, thank you for coming out today to the 15th annual Groton Lights Parade. My name is Nick Giuliano. I'm here with Carly. We're from Q105 FM in New London, Connecticut, 105.5 FM on your radio and online at Q105.FM. And we've got three lovely judges judging this parade tonight. Carly, let's run down their names one more time for the crowd. You're going to have to go through your script. And take your glove off to do that. There you go. Okay. The judges are Lorraine Sanborn of Sanborn Consultants, Suzanne Giorno of Giorno Invest Investigation, and Sharon Callender of The Lighthouse, the float that we just saw. Thanks again, ladies, for tonight.
And as we go back to the parade, we have Handel's Business for over 90 years. Handel's Americana Furniture in Waterford and Handel's Lazy Boy in Groton. Would like to thank all of you for your patronage throughout the years, wishing everyone a safe and happy holiday. Handel's Businesses. And this is 2006 Mustang Convertible, a beautiful 06 black Mustang Convertible that's shown in many car shows and is an active member in the Southeastern Connecticut Mustang Club. This club donates money to the Children's Hospital every year. Mustang owners, welcome to join this rewarding event. How you guys doing out there? Still staying warm? Doing okay? All right. Up next, we've got Bridgework, Bridgeworks Family Dental. There's a lot going on in this flow, Carly. There is. An elephant. I don't that know. It is an elephant. <laughs> is, yeah. An elf? A snowman? Another elf? If there was ever a night to be a mascot, this would be it. Those have got to be very warm. Thanks, Bridgeworks guys. Family Dental. Pepsi Beverages Company in Uncasville, proudly serving Southeastern Connecticut, would like to wish everyone a happy and healthy holiday season. Here's the Garden Tractor, home for the holidays. So Carly, we've got a lot going on tonight as we have a uh, little lull here in the parade because after the parade, there there's things to do as well, correct? Yes, everyone can go meet Santa Claus over by the tree. He's going to like the tree. They have munchkins and hot chocolate over there. So bring your kids to meet Santa after the parade. It'll be right behind us uh, where the tree is. He's going to light the tree and then you can meet Santa Claus. Thames Valley Communications. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas, guys. Community Baptist Church, could please welcome the children of the Community Baptist Church singing sacred, sacred Christmas carols. Community Baptist Church is a family-friendly, Christ-honoring ministry located right here in Groton. They extend a warm invitation to each and everyone to join them this Christmas season in celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. All right, up next, looks like we're going to have another performance here from the Westbrook Senior Drum Corps, organized in 1910. They performed throughout New England and also performed in Switzerland. They performed many years for New York City St. Patrick's Day Parade and numerous times in Boston. They're here in Grand Connecticut tonight, Westbrook Senior Drum Corps. Company, a amazingly lit up fire truck. That is awesome. The Gales Ferry Volunteer Fire Company, neighbors helping neighbors for over 68 years. New members are always welcome. For information about the fire department becoming a member or renting a hall, visit the department's website at gffc.org. Gales Ferry Volunteer Fire Company. How many lights do you think are on that truck? 10,000. 10,000. I don't know if it's that. There's not 10,000 lights there? Yes. Well, how many do you think? 100. 100? No way. 150? No, there's way more. Hope you guys are having fun. The 15th annual... Groton Lights Parade. My name is Nick from Q105 here with Carly. We're having a lot of fun. We had a great time doing the 4th of July parade, and we are excited to be asked back tonight. And we're staying warm. This is why Carly is great, because I would have never brought a blanket, and she did, and it's saving our lives right now. I'm the smart one. Yes. Exactly. 
Well, somebody in the audience here said she's the girl, and she, they're right. That's why I'm just wondering. Why. Sorry, guys. They're a hundred percent right. Okay. Up next, we've got Faith Lutheran Church, the church with the tall needle steeple with a cross on top. Grand's family-friendly church with a family. Friend, uh, friendly family faith west of the downtown at Chelsea Groton Bank building through the Amtrak underpass at Trails Corner on Paquanic Road. Come celebrate the Christmas holidays with them. Faith Lutheran Church. So Carly, they're telling me that it's 33 degrees right now, but I said it definitely feels 34. I mean... I think it feels 32. 32, yeah. It, it's 25... Coming up here is the Junior Colonials Fife and Drum Corps. The Junior Colonials Fife and Drum Corps is comprised of musicians from six towns between the ages of six and 18. They're pleased to participate again in this year's parade. All right, that's the Junior Colonials, Fife and Drum Corps. Up next, we've got Rich's Service Center in their international flatbread. Excuse me, that, I'm hungry. Let me try again. In their international flatbed. Yes. Rich's Service Center is pleased to present the sights and sounds of the Sochi 2014 Winter Olympic Games, highlighting just a few of the fearless sports involved in the Winter Games. The group is proud to support Team USA. Rich's Service Center. USA, USA, USA. He's got the Olympic torch there. That's awesome. The, wow, the torch in the back. The rings, fantastic. All right, up next, something that uh, would be very necessary right now. Dunkin' Donuts, care of Big Fish Promotions. Dunkin' Donuts gift cards make the perfect holiday stocking stuffer or gift. While you are picking a gift card up, try the gingerbread latte made with real espresso and whole milk. The holidays never tasted so good at Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. And a big shout out to the Grand Dunkin' Donuts who provided the munchkins and hot chocolate. Thank you guys. Coming up now, Hall Communications, Cool 101, WCTY, WNLC. WCTY, your station for the best country music in Eastern Connecticut is 97.7 WCTY. WNLC, you'll find the best classic hits on 98.7 WNLC. 100.9 Roxy FM is Eastern Connecticut station for the best hot adult contemporary music. Hall Communications. All right, and following them, the 1970 Dodge Challenger. Fifteenth annual Grand Lights Parade. Just a few more floats left, and then, of course, we'll have our special guest pulled by the Q105 truck, or is it a Jeep? Jeep. Jeep. Advanced Improvements here is your Mystic-based full-service general contractor. David Preka and his team would like to wish you and your family a very happy holiday season. Don't forget to stop by their showroom for information regarding your next project. Advanced Improvements. All right, making their way up right now is Habitat for Humanity by donating money for turkeys and presents to social services and buying items that are needed at the Senior Center. They also donated $2,000 for fuel assistance for seniors to social services. Habitat for Humanity.
Carly, those sirens could only mean one thing. What? Fire truck. <laughs> this is part of the habitat for humanity. Very nice. Give it up for the Center of Grot and Fire Department. The Center Grot and Fire Department proudly servicing our citizens and surrounding communities. Have a safe and happy holiday season, guys. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Thank you, sir. and fire department not over yet we are back again yes the last time was the fourth tonight it's the light parade <laughs> but i gotta say thank you for inviting us and thank everybody for coming out i know it's cold but we gotta change the cold little stuff Give it up for the Center of Grand Fire Department! They just woke some people up they for real. They absolutely did. All right, up next is Paget and Sons Auto Sales Incorporated. Paget and Sons Auto Body, your local family-owned collision center, bringing you the same great service. Give it up for Paget and Sons Auto Sales. Happy holidays, guys. Merry Christmas. Coming up behind them, Alternative Transportation Solutions, Wheelchair Livery and Leisure Travel. Alternative Transportation Solutions. All right, guys, the time has come. It is the close of the parade with Cumulus Broadcasting, Q105 FM, 102.3, The Wolf, WELJ, 104.7 FM, and News Talk 980, WXLM. And Carly, we knew this, but there is a special guest on the float. There is a special guest on the float. I don't know if anyone out there can guess who the special guest is. Who do you guys think is on the float? Let's hear some guesses out there. Say it again. Say it a little bit louder. Yeah, Santa. Santa Claus. I know him. I know him. Being pulled by Webster and Son. It's Santa Claus on the Cumulus Broadcasting float. Wow, look at this float. Look at this, we got signs, fantastic. We got some really good looking people up there looking too. As good well. guys. And of course we've got Santa Claus! Santa Claus! Santa Claus! Santa! 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 Make sure to stop by and see Santa after the parade, kids! Q105, 102.3, the wolf. 104.7 WELJ and News Talk 980 WXLM, of course, with the big guest of the night, Santa Claus! Santa Claus! 
All right, so again, thank you so much for coming out tonight, the 15th Annual Grand Lights Parade. Carl, we had a great time. We had an amazing time. Thank you to the judges as well. And again, there's more festivities after the night, but everyone who put this parade together, who had us back, we had such a fun time. Hopefully you guys did as well. You can see this on Channel 2. You can see it on their website as well. And you can obviously find us online anytime, Q105.fm. And on your radio, when you leave here, 105.5 FM. Make sure you go stop and see Santa. He's waiting for you. Yeah, stop and see Santa. Take your pictures. Get warm. Have a great night, guys. Thanks a lot. All right, remember what we're going to say. Ho, ho, ho. On the count of three, that's what I want everyone to yell. Ho, ho, ho. Hi, Santa. Remember that. Ho, ho, ho. Hi, Santa. On the count of three as soon as i can see him as soon as he's in eye contact all right everybody turn around and face that way one two, two three ho 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 hi santa Santa, hello Santa. Merry Christmas to you. Come on up. Can you see okay? Hello, Captain. <laughs> All right. Good. Good to see you as well. Santa, we were we were thinking that maybe you could help us light this fine tree here tonight. Is that okay? All right. So are we ready to light the? We are ready to light the tree. So. Santa needs a microphone. Here we go. So Merry maybe we can count. Maybe we can count it down from ten. All right, we're we can help count, him out. We're gonna count down from ten. All right, everybody. Ten, ten nine, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. I was. The top lights were really the hardest. All right, we're ready to go. Thank you, Santa. Everybody, can you say one more time? Say thank you, Santa Claus. 